I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. T'would be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Ulysses and the others while we're at it. Where will you all be heading next? Dravania. There is a book I've been meaning to borrow from the great Google Library. And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlian before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperitz. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Might we accompany you then? Raha and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Estinian, you will return to Rads at Han, will you not? Aye. For Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details, I may not stay long. I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far-flung corner of the realm. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge his plans. Quite right. Indeed. Fair point. So, what's next for our humble adventurer? The constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. And yet, something stirs. Yes, steeped in darkness, deep as starless night. The beast hungers. Alas, I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star, as he foretold. We shall descend to the depths, you and I, to confront the dread beast pandemonium. Oh, the sights we shall see. The sights we shall see.